Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to Learn at Home with WVIA. My name is Rebecca Gibbony, and I am a curriculum specialist at Blast Intermediate Unit 17. And I am Alexandra Konsergrashinsky, and I'm the STEM Services Coordinator at NEIU 19. And my name is Stephanie Williams. I'm um, in IT operations, and I'm also part of the STEM team at NEIU 19. And today we're here with you to have a little Spanish lesson about animals and colors. So Stephanie, we heard that you wanted to learn about animals and colors. Why would you want to learn about animals and colors in Spanish? Well, I want to know about animals. I want to learn Spanish, especially the animals and colors, because I have a great book that I'd like to read my son's class. And unfortunately, I won't be able to because I don't know Spanish. Mm, well, yes, good. you don't know Spanish yet. Right? Yet. <laughs> well, I think we can help her out, can't we, Rebecca? Oh, for sure. I think I have a presentation that we worked on uh, another day. So why don't we go over los colores y los animales? What about it, Steph? All right, I'm ready. All right, here we go. All right, so Steph, there is something like in your brain that triggers when you do a motion and you say the word. So what we're going to have you do is do the motion with us and repeat the, the word, all right? Okay. So the word for repeat in Spanish is repite, all right? And then we have por favor, which means please. So, repite por favor, veo. Veo. Good, veo means I see. And now, que animal es? What animal do you see here? This is a bear. Very good. So a bear in Spanish is oso. Oso. Muy bien. And you can get into it if you want. These are the bear claws, right? Repite. Oso. Oso. Good. So it would be veo un oso. Veo un oso. Muy bien. And Lexi's going to help you with the colors. All right. So, Steph, this bear, this un oso that we're looking at, what color is un oso? He is brown. Muy bien. Very good. So we're gonna say that I see a brown bear. So let's practice brown first in Spanish. We know that oso is our bear and we're gonna put our color right after the animal because that's the way it works in Spanish is our colors always go after our item that's that color. So we're gonna say un oso pardo. Un oso pardo. Muy bien, all right, let's put it all together then. All right. Veo un oso Pardo. Great. Wonderful. Bien. Next animal. ¿Qué animal es? This looks like a bird. Muy bien. And for bird, we're going to break it down into syllables. Ready? So repite. Pa. Pa. Ha. Ha. Ro. Ro. Muy bien. So we're going to do this symbol. Pájaro. Pájaro. Muy bien. So go ahead and put that together. I see a bird. Veo un pájaro. Muy bien. Muy bien. So what color is this pájaro? This bird is red. Very good. So for red in Spanish, we say rojo. Rojo. So this is un pájaro rojo. Un pájaro rojo. Muy bien. Okay, so put it all together for us. Okay. Veo. Un pájaro rojo. Very good. Muy bien. Notice, Estefania, what letter, what sound does the J make? The J does not make a J sound at all. It almost sounds like an H. Very good. I'm glad you recognize that. This next animal, what animal is this? This is a duck. Muy bien. So in Spanish, the word for duck is pato. Repite, pato. Pato. Muy bien, and we're going to act like we have a little beak, okay? So, pato. pato. So, repite, veo. Veo. Un pato. Un pato. Muy bien. Very good. Now, Estefania, de qué color es un pato? What color is this pato? This duck is yellow. Very good. So, yellow in Spanish is amarillo. Amarillo. Muy bien, we'll say it one more time. Amarillo. Amarillo. Very good. So that double L is actually not L, it's a Y sound, right? Like a Y? Yes. All right, so this is un pato amarillo. So let's put it all together. 
Veo un pato amarillo. Perfect. Muy bien. Excelente. ¿Qué animal es? This is a horse. Muy bien. There's a lot of people near where I live that have horses, right? So yes. for a horse, it's actually caballo. And we're going to act like you're riding a horse. So repite, caballo. Un caballo. Caballo. Muy bien. And just like Lexi ta taught us in the other slide, the double L, make sure you remember, it makes that Y yeah sound, okay? Caballo. Un caballo. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. And what color, de qué color es un caballo? What color is this horse? This horse is blue. Very good. So blue in Spanish is azul. Azul. Muy bien. One more time. Azul. Azul. Okay. So it's un caballo azul. Go ahead, put it all together for us. Veo un caballo azul. Very nice. Excelente. ¿Qué animal es? This is a frog. Muy bien. ¿Es un caballo, sí or no? No, no, but I know the sign language. I know how to sign a frog in sign language. Great. How would you do it? Let's teach us. So it's almost like the tongue sticking out of the frog. You bring your your fist up to your chin. Okay. You have your thumb pointed out, and you have your uh, middle finger and your index finger kind of resting on the thumb, and it pushes out. So that is a frog in sign language. Awesome. <laughs> Muy bien. So let's let's use that. And the Spanish word for frog is rana. Okay, so repite rana. Rana. Muy bien. Muy bien. So de qué color es rana? Una rana. That frog is green. Very good. So green can come in handy, right? Lots of frogs are green. So green in Spanish is verde. Verde. And you notice how the B is not a V sound, it's more of a soft B, a M -b, right? So, verde. Verde. Okay, yeah. so this is una rana verde. Let's put it all together. Okay. Veo una rana verde. Excelente. So, muy bien. Y aquí es un gato. What do you think a gato is? That looks like a cat. Muy bien. So, repite gato. Gato. Now, I don't have any gatos in my house, but I do know some friends that have some gatos and they like to clean themselves. So that's why we're doing that gesture. So, repite, veo. Veo. Un gato. Un gato. And Steph, what does veo mean again? That means I see. Very good. So, de qué color es un gato? That cat is purple. Muy bien, it's purple, very purple cat, right? We might not have any cats that are purple in nature, but this particular cat is purple. So purple in Spanish is morado. 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 Muy bien, so this is un gato morado. Let's put it all together then. Okay. Veo un gato morado. Muy bien. Muy bien. Mi favorito. <laughs> Yo tengo dos perros, dos. ¿Qué animal es perro? This is a dog. Good, good. So, notice how right here in this word in Spanish, perro has two R's. And when there's two R's beside each other, it makes a trill, like the roll of your tongue. Don't be worried, though, Seth, if you can't roll your R's yet. It is all right, okay? You just have to take some practice. So, we're going to act like... You know, their ears that are bent over. Okay, so repite, un perro. Un perro. Muy bien. So repite, un ve uh, yo veo. Veo. Un perro. Un perro. Good. So, de qué color es un perro? This dog is white. Muy bien. So, a white in Spanish is blanco. 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 Muy bien. So this is un perro blanco. Let's put it all together. Okay. Veo 
un perro blanco. Excelente. Muy bien. Just one thing though, be careful because a lot of times we like to say our A's like we do in English, like blanco. It's really blanco, like you're at the doctor and there's a tongue compressor, right? So repeat it one more time for me, blanco. Blanco. So let me do it all together again. Okay, okay. Veo un perro blanco. Muy bien, muy bien, mejor. Here, we're going to have a little bit of fun. So an oveja is what? That's a sheep. Very good. So for our gesture, we don't really have a gesture for it, but we're going to have some fun with saying the word. So it's going to sound like this, oveja. <laughs> oveja. Oh, perfecto. Muy bien. And have some fun with it. Go ahead. So repite, veo. Veo. Una oveja. Una oveja. Muy bien. Lexi's really good at saying it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so oveja, una oveja. De qué color es una oveja? That sheep is black. Very good. So black in Spanish is negra. Negra. Muy bien. Otra vez. Negra. Negra. All right. So this is una oveja negra. And so we can put it all together now, right? All right. Veo un oveja negra. Muy bien. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and just a disclaimer, when you're going to a Spanish-speaking country, you might not want to say oveja to them <laughs> when you're talking. You can just say oveja. They may not oveja. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> and our last one here, Steph, what is this? Que animal? This is a fish. Muy bien. And for fish, we're going to act like we, you know, have the gills. Or if you want to act like you have fins, go ahead. But repite un pez. Un pez. Muy bien. And now this is not the fish that we eat, but it's more like the fish you have as a pet or the fish when you go fishing when it's alive. Okay? So, un pez. Repite. Veo. Veo. Un pez. Un pez. Muy bien. So, what, de qué color es un pez? This fish looks like it's golden. Mm -hmm, very good. It is a gold fish, right? So that makes sense because this is a fish that would be a pet or someone someone you would see alive, right? You don't usually eat gold fish, so this is a perfect example. And so in Spanish, uh, golden is dorado. Dorado. Okay, otra vez, dorado. Dorado. Very good. So this is un pez dorado, and so now we can put it all together. Okay. Veo un pez dorado. Muy bien. bien. <laughs> All right, so uh, Stefania, you will notice that there are three animals here that we have not uh, identified yet, right? And so these three animals we haven't identified, we're going to go over what they're called really quick, but then it's going to be up to you to decide what color they are. And you're going to have to put their color after the name of the animal, okay? So are you ready? Okay. Okay. Hola, gato. So we're going to start with un serpiente. Repite. Un serpiente. And then a serpiente is a snake, right? And then... There is going to be un pinguino. Un pinguino. See, un pinguino. We're going to waddle like a pinguino, right? You do that. I think there were some pinguinos on the programming earlier this morning. I know, right? And there might be some serpientes later on, right? right. And so we also have un pulpo. Un pulpo. That's a tough one, right? Un pulpo. Un pulpo. <laughs> no, not quite. Un pulpo. Un pulpo. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Much. Yes, yes. Más mejor. Sí. <laughs> uh, now we're going to practice saying each animal, and we're going to stop, and we want you to say the color, right? Because remember, color goes after the animal, right? So it would be un serpiente, and then whatever the color is, right? So here we go. Ready? Okay. Un serpiente. Verde. Oh, muy bien. Un serpiente verde. Yes. Muy bien. And how about un pinguino? Blanco. Muy bien. Y. Y. That means and. So the blanco is white, right? Right. So white we have. And. Blanco. 
y negro. Muy bien. Oh, okay. Yes. Here we go. Rebecca, lead us. Two for two right there. Dos oh. Okay, aquí, Estefania, can you get three for three? Un pulpo. Marado. Oh. Yeah. Ah, sí, muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I tricked you too, Lexi. You did. All right. You read there for a minute. Very good. So the <laughs> next thing that we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. If I say veo, what does veo mean again? That means see. Who sees? I see or you see? I see. Very good. I see. But veis means you see. So what's a game that we play normally where it's like, mm, I'm asking you to spy some things. What's that game that we play? I think it's I spy. Very good. So on your screen, people at home, you can play along with Estefania. I'm going to say an animal, and I'll do the motion, and you're going to point at where you think it is. What do you okay. think, Estefania? I think we could do this. All right, perfect. So the question is vase, which means do you see? So vase un gato. Where is that, Estefania? It is second row. Uh huh. Second animal. Muy bien. Very good. Very good. Let's do another one. Oh, look. Es un gato. Oh, gato. 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 Muy bien. ¿Qué color? ¿De qué color es un gato? Aquí. Hola. ¿Qué color? Estefania. Uh, es amarillo. No, dorado. Ah, sí, es un gato dorado. Muy bien. Dorado. All right, Estefania, ves, so do you see, ves un oso? Oso. Oso, that. ¿Dónde está? That is the first, in the first line. What do you so think, first listeners? Row. What do you think? Is this an oso? You can say sí or no. Sí. Sí, muy bien. Es un oso. Muy bien. So you guys can continue playing this game, but what we're going to do now is we're going to read the book Oso Pardo, Oso Pardo, Que Ves Ahí? So brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? And we're going to turn over and show Steph's screen because she has the book. Okay, Estefania, we're going to read Oso Pardo, Oso Pardo, Que Ves Ahí, por Bill Martin, Ilustraciones de Eric Carle. And I believe this is the book you want to read your, your, um, my, son. my son's class. Yes, yes. This is the book I'm trying, I would like to read to my son's class. Wonderful. So I'm going to read it when I pause. So when we do the animals, you're going to make the gesture. And when I pause, you're going to say the animal and the color. Okay. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Stefania. Okay. Oso pardo, oso pardo. Que ves ahí? What do you see over there? Veo un... Pardo. No, repite, pájaro. Oh, pájaro. 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 Muy bien. Que me mira a mí. That looks at me. Very good. Muy bien. Pajaro, rojo, pajaro, rojo. ¿Qué ves ahí? Veo un... Pato amarillo. Muy bien. Que me mira a mí. Very good. Go ahead, Estefania. Pato amarillo, pato amarillo. ¿Qué ves ahí? Veo un caballo azul. Repite, caballo, caballo. Oh, caballo. Again, it's not bien. It's all right. We all, it's all right. We're practicing. Que me mira a mí. Muy bien. Oh, caballo azul, caballo azul. Que ves ahí? Veo una 
Rana Verde. Muy bien, Rana Verde. ¿Qué me mira a mí? Rana Verde, Rana Verde. ¿Qué ves sí. ahí? ¿Qué ves ahí? ¿Qué ves ahí? Uh, veo un gato marrado. Muy bien, un gato morado. ¿Qué me mira a mí? Don't forget to do those motions, yes? <laughs> sí. Gato morado, gato morado. ¿Qué ves ahí? Veo una perro blanco. Muy bien. ¿Qué me mira a mí? Perro blanco. Pero blanco. ¿Qué ves ahí? Veo una oveja negra. Yeah, sí, negra. <laughs> ¿Qué me mira a mí? I want to hear it, Estefania. Oveja. Ok. Oveja negra. Oveja negra. ¿Qué ves ahí? Veo un pez dorado. ¿Qué me mira a mí? Pez dorado, pez dorado. ¿Qué ves ahí? Veo uh, a la maestra. 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 No, no. maestra, maestra es teacher. So veo a la maestra que me mira a mí. Veo a la maestra. Muy que bien. me mira a mí. All right, very good. Muy bien. I think Rebecca's going to finish the book, right? Right. And we'll just listen. Right, and maestra is a teacher, right? Maestra, maestra, que ve ahí? What do you see over there? Veo. Estefania, what's veo again? I see. Muy bien. A los niños, the children, que me miran a mí, that look at me. Very good. Niños, niños, children, children, ¿qué ven ahí? What do you see there? <gasps> Vemos un oso, oh, oso pájaro, un pájaro, pájaro rojo, muy bien, un pato amarillo, un cabello azul. Caballo, caballo. Oh, caballo, caballo, oh, azul. Caballo, yeah. animal, very good. Caballo. <laughs> <laughs> Un rana verde. Muy bien. Una rana verde. Un gato morado. Un perro blanco. Muy bien. Una oveja negra. <laughs> <laughs> Un pez. Dorado. Y, um, sí. go ahead, Lexi, finish it up for us. Y a nuestra maestra que muy contenta nos bon sonríe, which is to smile, sonríe. Muy bien. So, yeah. good job, Stephanie. I hope that you feel like you are ready to read this year's son's class and you have to let us know how it goes. And for everyone at home, we'd like to thank you for joining us in today's lesson on los colores y los animales. And thank you for tuning in to WVIA Learn at Home. <laughs>